Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another Daily Market Report brought to you by Mike Bjork. Today is Friday. Happy Friday, everyone. And it is May 17th. Hope you guys are having a great day so far and great plans for the weekend here. We uh, got a couple economic news to go over today on the calendar. So we'll start with the consumer sentiment for the, uh, for the month of uh, May. So the previous reporting came in at 97.2. Uh, forecast was supposed to be right or slightly under at 97.1, and it actually jumped up to 102.4. So people are feeling good about things uh, overall. So we're starting to see that on a couple of different indicators from consumer confidence to the builders. Everybody's starting to feel a little bit better about things, which is obviously a good sign for the economy. Uh, on the other hand, we got the leading economic indicators for the month of April. So March, we had a nice jump in leading indicators, a 0.3% increase. April shows a 0.2% increase, so still decent. Uh, this is kind of gives us a kind of a future look of what they're forecasting for uh, the economy, which is obviously things are still on the on the rise. So that's obviously a good sign right there. So let's jump ahead here to the uh, headline news. Stock market is down. It, of course, is taking its cue from uh, the recent, you know, the whole thing the last two weeks on China, and basically right now with everything that's been going on. China doesn't is seeming to be a little hesitant getting back to the table and negotiations. So uh, that's got, of course, traders a bit uneasy in terms of, uh, you know, they would like to get this hammered out and have this uh, put away. But now with the, uh, you know, they're using the sanctions and our strategies of what they're doing with uh, Hawaii technologies that uh, they're kind of like, well, uh, there's no need to get back to the table now. So. In any case, uh, it looks like uh, there's a stall uh, in uh, negotiations between the U.S. and China in terms of uh, trade talks. So we'll have to see how this uh, plays out, but right now it's not looking too good. Uh, let's see how this is faring in the bond market. And the bond market is, oops, sorry about that. The bond market is currently down about three basis points, so really no change. We were up earlier about two basis points, and just a few moments after that, it was down to three basis points. So uh, a little bit of fluctuation, but... Again, not by much. It'll probably be kind of this uh, sideways pattern uh, for most of the day here unless something else breaks out and that would uh, really kind of set it off. But in any case, again, uh, mortgage rates remain the same. No change in terms of interest rates here. Uh, yields, as you can see here, did dip slightly down to 2.4 when you round up here. And again, uh, no change in terms of uh, mortgage rates or interest rates here. Uh, they remain the same. All right, guys, you guys have a great weekend. Hope you guys enjoy yourselves, and we'll catch you guys on Monday. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.